Repairs to Southampton's Civic Centre are still ongoing. It's been over two years since the work began as it looks to modernise the building whilst maintaining its historic beauty. Richard Enston reports. It's an iconic landmark in the heart of Southampton. The first block of the Civic Centre was opened in 1932 and over the years it's become home to council offices, the Sea City Museum, the Guildhall and the city's art gallery and library. And now the Grade 2 listed building is being brought up to the 21st century. We're doing a number of repair works. The buildings, the set of buildings are over 80 years old. Uh, the way that they were built, um, they're a very early steel frame construction. There's no cavity built in between the external face and the steel frame, and there's no cavity between the uh, limestone cladding and the brickwork. And the mortar that was used was a, uh, a very hard Portland cement mortar, which is very common in the 30s. Traditionally, these buildings would have been built with a lime mortar. Essentially what that means is water can get through the external cladding, the limestone is very soft, it can get through, it gets onto the steel frame, it will rust the steel frame and when steel rusts it can rust to nine times its original size and when that happens because there's no cavity there's nowhere for the rust to go so it tends to start to push the stonework out. And so what we're doing is we're going around, we're repairing the, the, the stonework, we're taking the stonework out, we're blasting back the steel frame to get to good steel, we're then priming it, then rebuilding the, uh, rebuilding the wall, but building it with a cavity in, so that it will last at least another 80 years and hopefully longer than that. The whole process is very intricate and takes a lot of time. It's been years to get to this stage and it's unclear if and when the project will reach its conclusion. It's a good question how long it will take to complete. Um, the most Difficult areas are the south and west facing elevations because that's where the rain tends to come from, so they tend to get wetter. Um, we haven't got so many problems with the east elevations and the north elevations. We do have problems, but they're not, they're not as great. Um, so hopefully it's not going to take too much longer, but it, you know, it's something which we can never guarantee we're, gonna, we're going to finally uh, resolve it. The ongoing work comes at a time when councils are slashing public services to save money. It's expected Southampton City Council will need to save anywhere between 59 and 108 million pounds over the next three years. Kevin White insists the repairs are essential and the time to do them is now. It's a great two-star listed building. We have a duty of care to the building. Um, we're not, we're keeping the works to a minimum. So, you know, it's not an overarching massive program which is gonna cost millions of pounds. We're actually doing the minimum work necessary to ensure that the building uh, continues to survive and is and is and continues to be used. And if we don't do thing, if we don't do something with it, the structure will continue to deteriorate. And actually, it will cost a lot more. This is this is a repairs and maintenance project. Um, by doing the works now, we're actually saving money down the line because it would cost a hell of a lot more to do it um, if we were to, if we were to just leave it. Richard Enston, for that Solent.